nice and warm today 14 degrees they say there's rain coming things are melting good there's no more surface ice and that's all the ice is on the bottom of the pond now Soon this will all be gone too. Another week, that'll melt. Five days. The wind's still coming from the wrong direction, but the temperature's warmed up. I figured out what I'm doing. I walk too fast when I'm out here filming in the park. Soon this will all be overgrown with green. Willow's changed color, it's coming back to life. This is a weeping willow. The pussy willow's over in the Japanese garden. So Ford and Andrea got kicked out of that river in. The hardest place to get kicked out of. The most infamous place in town. Not a place I frequent. Isn't that the most beautiful tree you ever did see? I think it is. Remember that icicle video from yesterday? Well, I got it off the caboose. That's exactly where I got it. So at the end of this video, there's a video of my new brew room. My brewing room for brewing my flavored mash from the moonshine. Isn't that beautiful, eh? Yeah. Every time I come out here, I forget the names. Copper ores. Yeah. Yeah, so it seems Fort and Andrea are now trying to live in the gazebo across from my house. Because they're kicked out again from their place to live. They just can't seem to keep a place. Too much noise, too much arguments, too much damage. Right across from where I live, eh? Yeah, we live in peace and quiet. And now these yahoos are showing up to try and destroy that peace and quiet. Well, guess who's going to go to the village office tomorrow and ask them to remove them from here. No birds out yet. Well, not at this time of day. We got rain coming. So, yeah. The guy that tried to kill me a month ago that broke four of my ribs and bruised my kidneys. 
lives right where that white truck is. The fucking wig staff. Well, things are getting more positive. We're gonna walk back over and have a beer with Chris. Everybody enjoy your day. I'll be back to show more later. Okay, here's the more. It's later now. Here's the more. Yes. Here's the willow that I filmed before. I'm on the other side of the fence now. Normally I'm in there. Right? Yeah. Look at all the three-quarter crush. Look at that. Tons and tons and tons of crush for the repairs down the Fraser Canyon. Just a mass amount of tonnage of this stuff. Well, I watched them truck all this in. And I know where it comes from. So I wondered to myself, I wonder if there's any gold in that. Because I know it comes from Savannah. And Savannah is known for gold. Lots of it. Yeah. That's what the back of the water wheel looks like. It used to be where I'd come to hide in the summertime and get away from everybody just so I could have a cold beer by myself. Look at all that scrap metal. Yeah, look at all that money. Look at all the lumber. There's a few bucks there. And then the gold ore cars. Gold and copper ore. Back of the cabin. All right, Mr. Christian's standing over there waiting for me. I know you can't see him that far away. We'll walk down there and we'll greet him. Yeah. Enjoy a beer and a smoke with him. And I guess we'll go home. I have leftovers for dinner tonight. I made that beautiful tomato beef pasta last night. Oh, that was so good. Took a while to make, was scrumptious to eat. There's Mr. Christian. Mr. Christian's got one problem. He doesn't have a beer in his hand. On the other side of the mural. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the other side of the mural, yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone. Have a good day. We're having a beer. But in, uh, yeah. Well, check out my brew closet. It's pretty cool. My brew closet. I have my yeast thermometer for telling me the right temperature in my funnel and light and spoon and my sugar. And then down here I have four gallons of marijuana mash brewing. And this jar here 
is the black licorice that's one gallon of that down here I have the back one back there is five gallons of black licorice brewing that's just started and this is a plain mash so it'll come out just as uh, alcohol flavored straight mash it's what I call straight mash sugar water and yeast the basic and most easiest to do so I have 10 gallons brewing here and 5 gallons brewing here that's 15 gallons of mash brewing now uh, this one run here should be ready in probably tomorrow or the next day so I'm happy with that and then I will start the next batch and we'll have to get some sugar soon well blessed be I finally got organization my brewing process is coming along just fine